Hi guys and welcome to my channel. We are going to be watching The Foster Season 1 Episode 4 and uh, this one is called, and I am sorry that I'm about to butcher this, but it is called uh, Quinceanera. I'm sorry, I know that that is not how it's pronounced, but I don't know how to say it. So, in the last episode, I got emotional for Brandon. I felt bad for him. Um, because he had to choose between his mother and his father where he wanted to live. And he at first chose his dad, but then he changed his mind and it broke his heart to tell his father that. Um, but, you know, they were both good about it. Both parents, when he chose his dad, his mom uh, did what she could to let him know that it was okay. That she was going to be okay and you know he needed to do what was going to make him happy and uh then when he had to tell his dad that he changed his mind his dad was really good about trying to um make him not feel bad about it you know so they both took they both did what they could to to help but you know it still it still hurt him to break his heart you know um oh and uh, Talia was snooping around Callie's journal and got the name Liam, which is somebody from Callie and Jude's past. And uh, she used the name, so I'm expecting some kind of confrontation between Callie and Talia. So we'll see if that happens. But let's go ahead and get into this episode. Let's go. Uh, so, uh, you can dance with El Padrino or a close friend de la familia. She's dancing with her moms, right? Oh. $300 for a dress she's only going to wear once? We'll cut it short and she can wear it to prom. We're spending a fortune on this party. It's not just a party, and we already set this money aside. Yes, before we had two more mouths to feed. Uh, I'm just asking, can we just rein it in, please? Can we get a bubble machine for the party? Sure. No. <laughs> sure. <Yes. laughs> so, do you want to take her place in my court? I think that is a great idea. Mariana? Um, well, what do you, what do you think, Callie? Uh, sure. Yeah, I guess. And we get to do a waltz. It's gonna be fun. Like eating glass. Hey, shut it. So, who does Callie get to dance with? Brandon. Yeah, I mean, but you're my date. Brandon, listen, I, you know that, I, I mean, I'm assuming that you know that, that foster siblings are not allowed to, to, I don't know, hook up. I don't know what you guys call it these days. There's nothing going on between Callie and I. It's just... When the twins got here, you were nine. Right, and now I'm a horny teenager. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Mom, I have a girlfriend, and I know the rules. Okay. I think ours might be feeling a little embarrassed. About what? About dancing with us at her party. She says something to you? No. Well, stop projecting. Mariana's always been very proud of us, really. She's fine. I don't know. I think she's on to something. What about the shoe ceremony? Uh uh. The doll thing? No. She's gonna go snake off and they're gonna have a make out session. I'm gonna go use the ladies' room. I'm in here! Hey! You didn't lock the door? You're being a real sport about Mariana's party. Hey? You're a good brother. It's okay, just as long as I'm the one who gets the card when we turn 16. Yeah, that's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Thanks for dinner. Yeah, of course. Cute what? nose. Nothing. <laughs> You're not embarrassed to dance with us at your party, are you? I'm glad she's checking in with her. Yeah, I told you that Lena was on to something. So listen, some of us are hanging out at the beach by the pier Saturday night. You should come in order to find me. I don't know how, don't about, how I feel about him. Good, hold that position. In partner dancing Look at Talia. Is key. 
So, Brandon and Callie, look into each other's eyes. Breathe. Connect. And you two? Dead. It's lovely to meet you both. Thanks. Everyone in this house calls me Graham. Guess what? I've got fabulous presents for you. <laughs> she seems very nice. Wow, you're so... Mm, we should dress up for each other more often. No. Or you could check your email. I was about to say, she's I'm trying sorry. to kiss you and you're done. like staring at your phone. Oh, I just want our party to be perfect. <laughs> she's gonna... Uh, you need help? What? <laughs> Oh, Remember uh, the rules, Brandon. Remember no, I, the I, I, rules. I you look nice. <laughs> hey! Oh, you never know. I mean, they might decide to keep us. Yeah, maybe. I mean, unless... What? They knew something? Something? Like what happened with Liam? You make a habit of reading other people's journals? Just people I don't trust. What's going on? Just got threatened by a bitch. And Mike, there's something that you could do for me. Yeah, is he um, gonna ask you know, me to dance me, with her? Mariana has actually asked if you would do the father-daughter dance with her. Yeah, of course. I'd be honored. Okay. <gasps> oh my god, it's gorgeous. Every girl wears a tiara on her keen sis. Oh god, it looks so expensive. It was, don't tell mom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, you're not being selfish. Mariana's a selfish one. Oh. I'm just spending a bunch of money on this stupid party. She's not even dancing with that. Oh, goodness. You're going to the bathroom a lot lately. Maybe you have a bladder infection. Mariana. <laughs> Here's on your left. Wrist. I'm okay, sorry, that was funny. The DJ is going. What are you doing? I think we should switch. Um, Sam's too tall for Lexi. Hey, what was that about? Did I do something? No, your Still girlfriend your did. Chill. Why? What'd she do? She thinks I have a thing for you. Can you just um, tell her that she has nothing to worry about? Please. All right. You're dancing with me. Come on. This is totally opposite of what Callie wanted. <laughs> but it's like I like it though. He's not let his he's not letting his girlfriend like call the shots, you know. Why you and Lexi? Get why it's such a big deal. This doesn't change anything. You could have any girl you wanted. Why'd it have to be my best friend? Heart wants to what it wants, you know? Can't help who you're attracted to. Brandon, what is going on? Don't play dumb with me. Callie told me what you did. Okay, I read her journal because wait, I was wait, wait. trying- Wait, you read her journal? Yes. And I'm glad I, I did. Believe. There are things no, that you don't know about. Just listen to I me. I can't I'm do this to... anymore. I'm Jeez. done. Fine, but ask her. Ask her about Liam. How my best friend and brother lied to me? We didn't lie to you, we just didn't tell you. <sighs> Same thing. And you know what hurts the most? Hearing all the awful things that Jesus said about me. And you didn't even defend me. That's not what a best friend does. For you, being black has always been about the color of a person's skin. Dark-skinned people have a different experience than light-skinned ones. And by different, you mean more authentic. I mean harder. But I understand how she feels. Do you now? You were raised by a black mother. And by a white father. And I never felt accepted by either community, Mom. Oh, well, I'm so sorry you've had such a tough time being a beautiful light-skinned woman. Oh, Mom. But like it or not. The color of your skin has afforded you more opportunities than anyone like me has ever had. See, that... Like it or not, you will never know what it is like to be a black woman in America. Yeah, I don't like that. Look it's like she's saying her daughter isn't black no, we can dance at all. And she is. She just told me 
I don't know what it's like to be a black woman. Oh. She's not right, you know that. And that's why I wanted to have this party for Mariana and why I don't give a damn how much it costs because I understand what that's like, not knowing where you belong. I've felt like that my entire life. You know where you belong. This is her party, but you can cry if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I broke up with Talia. Because of me? No, no. I, I, I mean, I'm sure that's what she thinks, but it's not. I broke up with her because she's doing stupid things. She told you? She didn't tell me what it said. I didn't want to hear it. I already know everything I need to know about you. Hey. Callie. Hey. Callie. Being selfish. Honey, what are you talking about? This party cost so much and we both worked so hard. I didn't dance with you. I should have danced with you. Baby. Honey, it's okay. It's not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what you need? A mama sandwich. No, no, no. Yes! Mama sandwich. Oh, she went to the bonfire. Okay. Well then. Whatever it is. Okay, guys. So that is the end of episode four of season one of The Fosters. And I really enjoyed that. It was a lot of uh, warm family moments. And obviously the the not so warm moments. Um, so there was a a threat to Callie from Talia, which you know I figured was coming. I mean, I'm glad I'm glad Callie told Brandon though that she didn't like keep it to herself. Um, I'm glad you told her. And I mean, up until that moment, I don't know why Brandon broke up with Talia. Uh, because up until then, he everything seemed okay. I mean, I, he sensed that she was jealous. He even asked her at one point, and she denied it. Um, but he didn't like the decision she was making. I do think it has in part to do that. He does have some sort of feelings toward Brand or toward toward, toward himself. No, uh, toward Callie and uh, Callie. I think reciprocates those feelings. Um, but she's trying not to go there. Um, and they need to stay away from each other because you know, the rules, but, you know, rules are meant to be broken. So we will see if there is going to be a relationship there, um, at some point. But right now she's running away from Brandon and joining a different kind of crowd where they're drinking, which I don't think is a good idea. Um, I said I didn't know how I felt about that kid. I don't even know what his name is, but um, I'm feeling even worse about him now. Um, I just, I don't think that's the kind of influence that Callie needs right now in her life. Um, I'm still curious about what happened with Liam. Um, I'm sure that they are going to tell us at some point in this show. I just don't know when. I thought it was really sweet of Mike to not only come to the party, um, but to give them money, to help them with some of the expenses, and uh, to dance with uh, Mariana. I thought it was very nice. Uh, because that's not something he really had to do. I mean... Technically, they are they aren't anything to him. Um, but you know, he, you know, I guess family friends is what they keep calling him. Um, so I mean, just in my experience in life, stuff like that doesn't happen. I mean, if there's a divorced couple, they only deal with like the children that are their kids. You know, they don't do stuff for the other children that may have come out of the new marriage, you know? 
that's just my experience. So I thought it was just, I just think it was really nice what he did. And, uh, yeah, he got a little drunk, but it's not like he was like an angry drunk or anything. He was a, a sappy drunk. And so I thought it was nice that, um, Brandon decided to drive him home. It was the safe thing to do. So that was good. So I don't think the whole thing with Talia is over yet. I'm sure there's going to be more to it. She's going to go after Callie in some way to get revenge or she's going to try and get Brandon back, which may happen. You know, she may get him back. She may weasel her way back in there for a little bit longer. Um, or maybe she'll turn completely around and, uh, apologize and realize what she's doing is wrong and, uh, be a better person. But I don't see that happening. <laughs> I don't think that's what's going to happen at all. I don't think that she's going to do that. Um, but anyway, like I said, I really enjoyed this episode. I'm really liking this show so far and I'm looking forward to continuing. Um, if you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, the link will be down below. And if you want early access to my reactions or the full reactions, you can go to my Patreon. That link will also be down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you would like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.